Hi everybody, my name is Jo and I love to read. Today I'm going to be doing another fortnightly reading vlog. It is Friday the 11th of June 2021. It is about 6, 6.30 which is awesome. I've just lit the fire and I'm going to tell you guys where I'm up to with reading. So I'm reading The Night Circus by Erin Morganston. I am up to page 216 which is nearly halfway through the book. I'm not entirely sure what I think of this. It's a bit slow paced for my taste and it feels a bit disjointed because every, pretty much every scene is a different chapter and it's hard because it's not one super continuous story. Even though I am still curious at the moment to find out what happens to these characters, I'm not like, oh my god, I gotta find out. So I'm, I'm, I feel like at this point I'm struggling a little bit, though I do enjoy it when I'm reading it. I'm just not wanting to pick it up. So I'm going to have a try over the weekend. It's a long weekend for me in Australia, which is awesome. And hopefully I can read a big chunk and get to the part where I'm really dying to read it. I'll talk to you guys and let you know in my next update. Hi everybody, it's Thursday night and I have a flat pack to put together like a bathroom cupboard. I'll show you guys what it looks like on the front and hopefully I'll be able to achieve it in a little bit and give me some more storage in our bathroom. This is it in the box to set up and it's going to be sort of like a tallish but not too tall size cabinet because this, I don't know if I told you guys already, but this bathroom we're not going to renovate probably for like five to ten years and there's not a lot of storage in it just those so where I just bought this cabinet it was covered to put in that corner I'm gonna have to move the plant it's gonna slightly cut off that window there but that's okay and it's gonna be excellent just to have a lot more storage at the moment because when we ripped apart our laundry which is not getting done until later on in the year we have all this stuff like towels and cleaning products and stuff that were in the laundry that have nowhere to go and eventually we will need more storage as well before this bathroom is done when we have kids because we'll obviously have more stuff when we have kids. So I kind of came to that realisation and decided that I wanted to put something in that like space of a hole and hopefully it looks as nice as I pictured in my head. After a few hours I am done. So I have to do the styling tomorrow. Love to put some plants up there. Like more plants, it'll be cool. And then more towels in there. And then in here I've just chucked in a few things that were lying around, but yeah, I'm gonna organise tomorrow. So how exciting. Done. Good morning everybody. It's Sunday the 20th of June 2021. I'm finally giving you guys another update to this vlog. I know I did a quick one of my bathroom. I'll show you guys the finished product shortly at the end of this clip, um, or not the finished product, midway product, but I'll get into that when I show you guys that. But I haven't talked about books and what has felt like an age, but things have actually happened. I don't know really why I haven't done an update. Life hasn't been particularly busy, but I've been enjoying games and we have a visitor over this weekend and I don't know what else. What else really has been happening that has meant that I haven't done an update? I just haven't been doing it. The only other small like technology thing that I could say is that I got a little um, a little desktop stand for my phone, but it's also a ring light. I just bought the one that was available um, at the Kmart store in my area. Sorry, I'm just I was wearing eyeliner yesterday when I was filming, and it's I didn't take it off, and now it looks like I'm I've got dark eye line kind of under there. You guys probably can't notice, but I can because it's my face. But it's got a little ring light, and even though it's really small, I don't want to leave it out in the lounge room because it's like kind of, it's like clutter. So I don't know. The only other thing, and I don't like it can be hard to set up my phone elsewhere, but these are all kind of just excuses. So I'll have to get back. On it anyways I still like doing vlogs it's just I just haven't been um motivated maybe enough to be doing updates <laughs> but that is good because I don't like doing super long rambly vlogs I kind of like doing vlogs that are like a shorter sort of length but we'll see how long this one is so I was reading The Night Circus by Erin Morganston that was the last one I was up to you guys I've got no bookmark in here anymore because I got I think about the halfway mark and I decided that I really just was not wanting to pick it up like any 
when I thought about reading, I was just like, do I really have to like pick this up? And I was still feeling really disjointed because of all the sh really short chapters that um, is the style of the book. And I just decided, no, I'm like, why, why are you still reading it if you're not enjoying it? Like you're bored. I know that you really enjoy the circus and that if the night circus appeared in your town, any time between now and forever you would definitely go like I I love the circus that Erin Morganston has set up but the plot itself I just felt like was going nowhere and so I decided to give it up I read a summary so I know what happens and I'm kind of like yeah I don't really miss anything personally I'm sorry if I'm like I know this can be such a loved book but also it's also not in certain things it's a bit polarizing I can kind of see where people like either really love it or or don't like it so that's a DNF unfortunately <laughs> strike out for all the books that my cousin got me for Christmas I'm sorry but that does happen sometimes and I just have to stay true to my interests she would not want me to be pushing through on a book that I am not enjoying and then I decided for some bizarre reason that even though I wasn't enjoying the book like I was bored from a book but that I should pick up one that I'm not sure I was gonna like anyways because it was non-fiction which is plotting and suspense um, plotting and writing suspense fiction by Patricia Hyde Smith and I don't know why I decided to pick this up but I had intended to love the night circus and then it would have been easy to pick up something that I was less interested in but I decided to pick it up after DNFing a book and potentially being a bit bored of reading and I also have DNFed this at the moment. There's nothing particularly wrong with it, it's just that I'm not as interested in writing as I once was. This was also a gift from my dad so I'm really striking out with gifts this this month. I'm hoping that maybe after finishing the book that I'm currently reading I might want to pick this up again but say like and that's mainly because I can tell that writing craft books are not boring for me and hearing about writing craft even if I'm not act like actively writing so hopefully maybe I will enjoy this so I'm kind of keeping like this is definitely in the pile of done it goes up to like the section of my books right about there where I am going to be talking about it in my wrap up and then getting rid of it but this one I'm putting back sort of on my TBR, there's my scant little TBR because I decided to read the ginormous, the last ginormous book I've got that I may be picking up or I may just decide not to because I really want to finish my TBR really quickly. But yeah, I decided to pick up the biggest book that I've got left on my TBR, which is The Magician's Apprentice by Trudy Kahneman. Mm. As of today, I'm up to page 104. I'm really enjoying it. I'm not really in a reading mood though at the moment. I'm in like a gaming mood. And even though I talked about how I'm not really a gamer when I did my booktube backstage video so I'll leave a link up here if you haven't seen it but like if I'm enjoying a game then I'll play it a lot like all the time and then I just won't game for like six months or like three months or something so like I've got <laughs> I've got all the technology there like Daniel lost my Xbox and he's got uh, like we've both got switches and things like that and I really enjoy that kind of stuff but that's the kind of mood that I'm in. I'm playing Pokemon Sword for anyone that's interested. And I haven't, I'm only up to, I've got the water badge. So I'm only up to the second badge. And I know it came out like last year or two years ago or something like that. But again, I'm a slow, slow, slow gamer. Um, and that's been really fun. But I am really enjoying The Magician's Apprentice. When I kind of get back into like a reading mood, which this will probably help me get there because I'm already sort of that far through it already. I'm really keen to keep going. And I'm feeling like... Either I really enjoy this world of Trudy Kahneman's or she's just a talented author and she's going to be someone that I can read any of her books and I'm going to enjoy it. So The High Lord that I read recently, That Broke My Heart, that was the last book in the Black Magician trilogy. This is a prequel in the same world. It's like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years in advance with a, all these different characters. I don't know, probably nobody's going to be mentioned from the future in this book because it's the future but potentially some events that they talked about as histories in the world are going to happen in this one. So I'm just really interested and I love like, it's so it's a girl named Tessia, she is the healer's daughter and she was wanting to become a healer. So this is back in like medievalist times when women weren't really healers unless they were midwives and she has assisted her dad so far because they only had one kid and that was her and he didn't have a boy to pass the trade on to but her mum's like no no you've got to like you need to get married now you're like really at an age where you're like needing to get married to to ensure your future when we pass away and I was a little bit annoyed at her mum actually because I felt like her mum was just being <laughs> 
irritating because women can have careers too and that is true especially for us modern day things but I also have a bit more understanding for her now I've thought about it a bit because she is just trying to do what she can to ensure her daughter's survival after they go away the best that she can at that time even though she needed to have questioned why is this the only thing that women are apparently shown as worth to be wives and mothers but it is true of that day so I'm not like as irritated at a mum as it is but something happens and Tessia discovers that she is a magician, she's got magical powers and that she's a natural so she has to be trained otherwise her magic will just explode and she will potentially kill herself and a whole other bunch of people that are around her. So she is now living at the residence of the lord of their lay of their area because this is based on England medieval times. I don't think I don't know if people are serfs or not or something like that but you know same like lord and he oversees luckily for these people he's a he's a good lord and she's now living at his residence with the other apprentice magician of his who doesn't like her at the moment so I'm interested to see how that goes and she's learning to be his apprentice so that's really cool and I'm loving like I really liked the healer stuff because I love medicine in books but I'm also really enjoying learning magic and we're kind of going a little bit more into detail about the magic structure and how to learn to be a magician than what I remember of the earlier books so that's pretty cool as well. Anyways this has been like nine minutes holy shit I'm so sorry I hope this hasn't been boring. I'm gonna quickly um, show you guys maybe not now because everybody's asleep but I'm gonna show you guys what I've done with the bathroom and how I've styled it a little bit. It's still a work in progress but I want to show you guys what I did with the cupboard and then I will talk to you guys in my next update. Bye! Hey everyone, so here's the cupboard all done-ish. I've styled sort of the top bit. I bought a new plant that's got like a pale blue brownie flower bird pattern and then that was the, that take up there is the existing one. So I've just put some towels in and then I haven't really done anything in here yet. Um, I've just kind of shoved some things in there, some bath mats and stuff. But I ordered some pink pretty pink bath mats to go down so it's going to be a bit more bright um than just sort of all like i like the blues and greens and whites but they're also like very like i don't want to say boring but just like very the same and i actually did paint this myself which i don't i'm not like super happy with the color it was just white and i was trying to match it to like these type like this green here but I feel like it probably would have been better if I just went like a deep emerald green, like a real like darker, well not super dark, but like a deep green. But anyways, that's just like learning stuff and it really bothers me that I can always repaint it. And then I want to put like a, buy something, some kind of pretty thing to go up there, but I don't know what colour to do it in. Maybe silver, I don't know. I'm not very good at designing um, anything. And the only main other thing I do want to do like, do something pretty over here with the toilet stuff like get a pretty looking toilet brush and maybe like a little like basket thing to organize like period products in to make it look a little bit nicer that kind of thing but the main thing over here that I wanted to fix was I just want to put some new handles on this vanity because they kind of like are a bit old and crappy <laughs> so if I can find them for like a fairly cheap price then I'm just gonna get like some chrome silvery looking ones and that'll and that will probably be it for this area of the house for now this area of the bathroom and the only other thing would be like a tiny little bright pink pot with a flower in it like a little one but for now I'm pretty happy it's it's nice it's kind of brightened about having all the towels out and they're actually in the bathroom <laughs> instead of going into the laundry whenever we need a new towel. So. Hey everybody, it's Tuesday night. I'm here to do my final segment of this fortnight's reading vlog. I didn't actually realise how good of a stand my chest of drawers is in our wardrobe. I've just propped my camera up and it's working really well. I'm still making my way through The Magician's Apprentice by Trudy Kahneman, which is not a surprise considering how chunky it is. I'm up to page 180. I don't really know whether I've read a great deal since talking to you guys, but it feels like I made a lot of progress yesterday when I hadn't been feeling like I was making progress at all, and then again tonight, so that was really good. And I'm surprised about tonight actually because I 
new season dropped of a show that I'm watching on Netflix and I hoped that I would be obsessed with it and I have watched an episode but a really traumatic sad event happened and I needed a break because I was a bit heartbroken. I am going to watch it now and continue on with the season and to sort of get past it and move on and heal with the characters. But I was really expecting not to get any reading done tonight, but I was actually looking forward to picking up this book. Not a lot is happening at the moment. We're in the capital of the country, like the capital city, which is a lot of fun because the character Tessia has never been into it. It feels a little bit um, the story feels a little bit mirandering at this point, even though it's still enjoyable, but it feels like the villain of the story is about to kind of reveal himself in a more obvious way, which should kind of help with the plot a bit. And I'm hoping, I would really, I mean, I'm still, I'm still really enjoying it. I'm just kind of comparing the addictive level that I was feeling with the second half of The High Lord. So I'm kind of hoping that we do get up to that point with this book, considering how big it is, but it's still really interesting. So I'm going to finish this up now so I can edit this final segment and upload this video tonight so that it's ready for you guys Wednesday morning or Wednesday midnight my time, whatever it is for you guys. Thanks everybody so much for watching my channel again and give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and comment if you've got something to say. I'd love to hear what you guys are reading. Have you read any of these books? Are you reading anything at the moment? how's the mid of 2021 going for you i will have some of the usual goal stuff coming out but i like to i like to talk about midway stuff in july because we're not we're not exactly at the midway point yet because we're still in june which is still the first half of the year so i'm really kind of stubborn that way and same with december where I want it to be done. So I do like my midways goal stuff in July and then I do my end of year stuff in January because I like to get everything done at the last minute. So I will be doing the mid-year book breakout tag and hopefully some other fun stuff to do because I'm not sure whether mid-July is going to be realistic for me with getting my TBR finished since I've been a bit slower with reading Though I have stopped playing Pokemon Sword. I played it a little bit last night, but I wasn't really at the level that I had been for like the past half a week. So I'm kind of out of that at the moment and I should be reading back at my normal pace. So who knows, maybe I will get all my books done mid-July. It just depends on how quickly I read this beast because I, with the other books, they're all really small and I should be spurred on fairly quickly. But we'll see. Subscribe if you want to see how it is, um, how I'm going to go with my reading and how quickly. And then I'm so excited to be done with my physical TBR soon. It's crazy. But um, I'll talk to you guys and I'll show you guys that in another video. Bye!